You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Zuru for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I have a fresh batch of Series 2 Gross Zuru Smashers. Smash the ball and collect them all. Smash open the eyeball. As you can see now, these are eyeballs. And Series 1 were red colored smashers. I do need to say thanks to Zuru for sending all of these to check out on video, which is what I want to do. Check these out. So I will come back then and start learning more about Zuru Smashers Series 2. All right, here we go. I thought I would start with the smallest of all of the packages. This looks like a individual Series 2 gross Zuru Smashers. Something new that I didn't notice on Series 1. It does say rebuild and re-smash. It was something I was thinking about. I remember when I was doing video one with Butch. This is Find the Ultra Rare See-Through Smashers. They look pretty gross. Let's see, can you find the slime surprise? Throw, smash, surprise, rebuild, and re-smash includes one smashers in an eyeball and one collector's guide. All right, so that is the single pack. I don't think I'm gonna open that one. I wanna open up one of the bigger packs. Here is a three pack. Okay, so it looks like two are in the eyeballs and then the third one is visible so you can see what you're buying there. Now we get to see more of the different styles. There is the filthy food, icky insects, odd bodies, smash trash, Toilet Humor, Rare Awful Animals, Ultra Rare Ooze Dudes, Glow in the Dark, and Exclusives. And then you have Common Rare, Special Edition, and Ultra Rare. Again, the same thing, Throw Smash Surprise. All right, that is the three pack. Let's take a look at the next biggest pack like this. This is the eight pack, so that is loaded with smashers. It looks like six are in the eyeballs and then two are visible. Not much there. Kind of a repeat now. So we are getting a repeat. This is easier to read. Now it says smash open the eyeball to find something gross hiding inside. Over 100. It's distinguished, disgu oh, disgustingly gross characters to collect. Can you find the ultra rare see-through smashers? I don't know. I hope I can. All right, so that is that pack. Now the next pack, which I thought I would save, is the Puke Pizza Collector's Tin. Now, how many are in there? Stores 50, and the tin includes one exclusive. Smash open the eyeball. Everything looks really gross. And this build and re-smash is something they're really showing you on all the different packages. Okay, basically a repeat here of what we've already seen, but it is a collector's tin. I'll probably have to open that. And then here is the Smashers Sludge Bus. There is a Try Me right here. It looks, oh, I see. So that pushes down. You push that down and something pops out there. And then the bus. I'm guessing that's the only Try Me, yeah. Well, let's see the back of that. That gives you a better idea shoot your smashers into the toilet. Now I happen to have the series one here and this one was a bus, same bus, but this one was like a basketball court. Do you remember that one? I never got to showing that on video. I think Butch and I opened like 40 of the little, this is series one, so you can kind of see a series one to a series two, all right. I need to open something up, so let's do that. Let me come back and open up the eight pack. I do remember smashing these with Butch and they were just uh, pieces going everywhere. There we go, so here is my first eight pack. Let's see, I, did, I kinda got a hint. Oh, on the inside it kinda looks like a broken up set of eyeballs, but they look like eyeballs the way they have those set, almost winking at you. Oh, it looks like they're gonna show you how to put it back together. Now that's very interesting because after series one, like I said, I was like, hmm, how do you put these back? I'm gonna have to try that with you. 
Okay, and there's all the different ones you can get. All right, so right away I have one of the bugs, and then I have what looks to be a a poo. I guess it's I guess you would call it a poo. Yes, this is baby poo, and that of course is a common. And then the spider with the bunch of eyes. That's icky insects, okay, that looks like splat spider. It's the only red spider I see that is also a common. Okay, so five and six after we rebuild it, then smash it. So I just kind of remember we were just smashing them on the countertop, just dropping them down. So look at the difference here. They are pretty much exactly the same size. They both say smashers from series one to series two. This, is, this one was wrapped individually in plastic when I got it. These are not, but probably because they're in the pack. All right, so let's just smash one right here. I forgot how much effort it took, but let me just give it a, a light drop. Here we go. Okay, a little higher. All right, higher. Even higher. Oh, it's coming apart. Ooh, all the way down. There you go. Okay, so they're easy to smash. They come apart really nice. And it looks like I've got, I don't know, it almost looks like a baby diaper. That's exactly what it looks like, a baby diaper. Hmm, where would the diapers be? Odd bodies? No. Oh, maybe up here? No, not in filthy food. I don't know. I have such a hard time finding. Oh, right there. Dirty diaper. Common. Okay, here we go. Next smash, a little harder. Whoa! Gotta keep my eye on him, he flew everywhere. Okay, so it looks like a brain. I'll give you a better look at these in just a second here. Where is the brain? It's gotta be in odd bodies, yes, that is brain drain and that also is a common so far i just have common now i'm going to separate these out because putting it back together i think it's going to be hard now that i've mixed up all those pieces so let me start with a fresh one here there you go okay so this looks like a trash can on wheels what is a trash can on wheels? Smash trash, and it's orange, and the orange one looks like a com. Oh, yep, common. Wheelie gross, like really gross, but wheelie gross. All right, so this is the eyeball side. This is the center one. I think that is this piece here. So if I'm looking at their little picture, it doesn't really match up to the exact one I have there. So smashers, let's just say that is the front. And then, yeah, that's, that can't be the first one. Is it like that? I do remember this being a challenge when I was looking at the first, let me just grab one of these so I can see which way they have it. So the Smashers is in front. Okay, then this is the center eyeball piece. And it looks like it can go this way or this way. I don't think that matters. Okay. And then the back of this is just going to be an all white piece. Got it. Okay, it's not like holding together real easy. I almost feel like I want to put a little piece of tape on it, which I might do. Hold on a second. It is not easy to stay together. Okay, now I need to get my 
character in there. All right. And then I have this side. And this side. And then this one. That's got to slip in between these two. Not easy. Almost. There we go. So I used to, ch oh, my eyeball's not right, but I at least got it together. And I used to cheater piece of tape so this one probably goes there and that one goes there but at least we know that they will smash together okay so we figured that out i think it'd probably be better if you look at it this way and held it this way and then tape these two so you knew exactly how the eye went together and then continued putting it back together let's just see Then your two smashers. So front and back both say smashers. You almost gotta just kinda twist this one in a little. Oh, that's a challenge. It's not easy. So you gotta be lifting. You almost need a little tool to pull that out. This one here. Nope. Eyeballs together, right? It's one of those things you probably, the more you do it, the better you get. But at least we know it can be done. All right. Didn't really want to take that much time, but I did. So you know how that all works. All right, let's smash another one here. Not too real. Okay, so it's one of the poos and is a nice healthy looking baby poop and it is a common so I've had all commons now on everything here we go okay so it's a fly type insect so I need to go in the icky insects and it's the gray one it is also a common so I'm getting a lot of commons it almost looks like everything up here common 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 all of these are commons, all of these are commons, until you get into these rares, special editions, and ultra rares, will you get one in that uh, category. All right, let's see. This one's actually a little miscolored. It's almost not as white all the way around. Here we go. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, there's slime in there. I feel glow-in-the-dark something. I don't know, is it slime? It's got to be. Let's see. It's, oh, so available in the eight packs. So we knew we would get one of them. I didn't see that. Maybe you did. Go ahead and say, come on, Dave. We're paying attention. Yeah, look at that. Oozy slime. And I got an eyeball looking creature. And he's looking at you and he's got a mouth 
kind of sits like that. So he's one-eyed, slimy guy, and not glow-in-the-dark. Maybe it is glow-in-the-dark, but it has the slime. And where's the slime eyeball? Hmm. Maybe it's exclusive to this set. I don't see any of these being the eyeball. All right, well, you probably know. I don't know. There we are. Let me uh, move some things out of the way and come back, and let me uh, open up the tin next. All right, it did say find the exclusive Glowing Smasher available at an 8-pack, so that must be a Glowing Smasher, but I didn't see the eyeball in this collection. There's the pizza, the diaper, the soap, the hand, the foot, the can, the fish, and the maggot, so... Maybe it's listed somewhere else. Let's get to this tin because there is one exclusive smasher in the tin. I was pretty excited to see the tin. I like collector's tins, as you know, as you should know. All the tins and collectibles I have. Okay, so that just goes in there. That goes in there. That is a pretty cool looking tin if you're a collector of stuff like this. You can appreciate that. All right, here we go. And, and smash. Ooh, it is a fly with a blue little biter on there. Insects, okay, where are you, Mr. F oh, I think it's this one. It's a mosquito. No, it doesn't look like a mosquito. It's this guy here, Philby Fly. Filthy, or Filthy Fly is a common, okay. Let's check out this tin. Just look at the detail. This is all raised on here and printed on the bottom. Ooh, there's one inside. I didn't realize it. It's a tooth. Okay, and then the same instructions. So the tooth. Smash trash, odd bodies. It's got to be an odd bodies, wouldn't you think? I don't see it. Oh. Exclusives, that's it. So that is a rare, and that is Rotten Teeth. Or T-E-E-E, -E -E. it's hard to read, it's so tiny, they make everything so tiny, but that's the one I see, the purple and the yellow. And now I can put them all in my collector's tin. So let me give you a close-up here of what I have. And you know what, I'm not done. Since I did not open the original Smashers bus, I think it's time I do a little play. Let me open up the Series 2. I will have to go glow in the dark at some point, right? You're going to want to see that. All right, so that is the first grouping I have. I'm going to save the three pack and the single pack. And now I'm going to come back and check out the Sludge bus. But that gives you a good idea what I got this round. I will be back. All right, I just got this out and these out and the bus is cut out. Let me just get the bottom piece off. I was gonna look inside to see if there was any instructions and I did not see anything that resembles that. So I think we're good to go. Sometimes they slip them in the back here and there are none. Okay, so let's just look at the back because that kind of gives you an idea what we got to do here. Let's get this apart. I try to do this so that I can put it back the way I found it. So I usually save all the little cardboard inserts like this. Okay, so that doesn't want to come apart. Let's see, how does it come apart? Very interesting. Is it still locked somehow? Hmm. So it looks like this folds down. Which side is it though? Transforms into a sludgy bathroom. It looks like it just pulls apart. Okay, so the front opens. It's got pins on the top and the bottom. Let me get this cardboard piece out. That might be locked into two. Ooh, okay, something's going on here. Okay, 
Okay, so this is locked on the inside. There we go. Okay, so that's out of the way. So it looks like this opens up here. Wow, I've never really had such a hard time figuring how something opens. Let's see if this... Okay, so I see that pulls down. Can't get my hand in there. It seems like it all wants to happen at one time. It's not letting me do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this got a good some. You had to get some good pressure on it initially for the first time. It looks like. Okay, the instructions are inside. Let's check that out again. So I was pulling this out this way, not realizing that this and this need to break apart there. Okay, well that's why we learn about them, and that's why I'm here to show them to you. Okay. Well, that's going to be cool. This goes up. Okay, so this comes out. That's pretty neat. Let's see. How to play Unfold the Sludge Bus. Okay, the instructions would have been better outside of the packaging and not inside for us noobs here. To tr transform your sludge bus into a bathroom, hold the front of the bus, lift the top, and fold down so the left side of the bus lays flat on the surface. Fold down all remaining sides so they lay flat on the surface. Okay. So I think they're meaning that, that, and the way this goes here. Okay. Let's just launch this guy with the cape. He looks pretty cool, the cape guy, doesn't he? Okay, now, noticing that the open pegs on the top are to store I got them all in my tin that's a cool sound now he does not have a big hole on the bottom but these do so that is a storage area okay and then the launcher let's see play the toilet plunge game play solo and try to up your score or challenge your friends. First, you'll need to select your smasher note. The more round the smasher, the easier it is to shoot. For example, the odd bodies may be easy points, but only choose from rare awful animals if you are up for a challenge. Each smasher has a smash point value outlined in the smasher collector's guide. I was wondering about that. There was a little number under each one, like that's 71, 63, uh, 1,425, wow, that's a big number if I'm reading that correctly. 1,500, I'm guessing that's the number. They also have like an item number, 2001, 2002. So I'm guessing that's what they're saying. Okay, it has a smash points value outlined in the Smasher Collector app, online at smasherworld.com or in the Smasher Collector's app. Refer to any of these platforms throughout the game to keep track of your smash points. Places like the Smasher on the plunger pad, at the back of the bus, push down on the plunger pad, hold and then release and watch your smasher fly. If the smasher goes into the toilet, you automatically win his value in smash points. If you knock down the toilet seat, you automatically get double the smash points. Each challenger can take turns selecting and shooting their smasher and, and the person who wins the most smash points at the end wins. Please never aim a smasher at someone else. They do show both of these being able to come off. So you can adjust, probably, and set it up a little bit differently if you want. Okay, so I feel like I need to hold this here. And then here we go. Let's try our first one. Uh, you know, perfect choice. Okay, over the top. So a little less pressure. Ha! There you go. Not bad. Inside the toilet at the bottom, there's a plastic piece that's connected to the lid. So when it's tapped, that's when it flips down. Can we do it again? Ooh, missed. Oh, that bounced in. Very cool. All right, I did not do this smasher that came with the set. Ooh, look at that one. That one is ugly. Probably the ugliest out of all of them so far. 
Let's launch him. Oh, you came out, Mr. Toilet. What happened? Okay, he's pretty heavy, so let's see. Go press down just a little. Look at that. That's like an expert shot. Let me see if I can give you a side shot. Ooh, I gotta check out what this poo does. I think you just... Is it in the instructions? No. I'm guessing you just kind of put one here and hit him or something. I don't know. There you go. Well, it's some kind of poo launcher. Did it say on the box what that was? It was the Try Me. They show it back here. Okay. And then they really don't show much. But it looks like something that, like I showed you. Okay. Let's try one of the harder ones. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this now. Pressure is on. That is toilet pressure. Here we go. Oh, missed. Over the top. Let's get this flying guy with the cape. Oh, missed. Let's try the green guy again since I done got him once already. Missed. Got it. Oh, it didn't close it. There you go. All right. So now it all should fold up and store inside, right? Let me see. Pack up your sludge bus to fold away your store sludge bus, folding the plunger pad at the back of the bus, fold up the right side of the bus and holding the front of the bus, fold the left side and roof. Back up and click into place. You can store your smashers inside the bus as well as place smashers in the driver's seat and on the top of the bus. Okay, so you have options. Let's see. Ooh, I didn't see the driver, my camera. Okay, so there, there is room to put that in there and to put more in there. That's locked in. There you have the two up there. So not all of them have the spot on the bottom to place them in. Okay, I gotta go at least try the black light once and then I'll wrap it up. But the bus itself rolls pretty good. I will come back with the black light on. Maybe these will glow pretty cool. Let's see. I'll be right back with that and then we'll just wrap it up. All right, so what glows? The slime has a glowing factor to it. The pink one in the back here glows pretty cool. And then, of course, the two white ones glow really nice. I put them down there. I should have moved them up. I've got everything propped up there. And the tooth. Remember the tooth? There. Let me give you an inside shot. And you can see the bus glows pretty cool. All right. So there you go. I think that's a pretty good look at the Series 2 Smashers Gross. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. I've got a couple that I kept off to the side, so... You know, you just never know when someone will send me a letter saying, hey, those are pretty cool. And recently I just sent out a bunch of stuff. So thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Look in that description for more information on my Zuru Smashers. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.